Good morning everyone. That is a simple phrase that has even more meaning today for me. Three years ago today, I woke up in the ICU of the hospital. I had received my new liver overnight and was waking up with a lot of tubes and intravenous. The key phrase is waking up. I did not know what the future would hold, but I was still alive, and believe me, after the sickness I had endured, being alive was an actual surprise. I decided at that time, I would savor the flavor of life, and do what I could to make my new life memorable. Because of the gift of life I have been able to live, and progress. Want to travel extensively, started a new job, I have always tried to take care of my gift, I eat properly, abstain from soda, and alcohol, and I exercise six days a week. None of this could have been possible without the selfless gift I was given, by my donor. I will do my part to stay healthy. It has been an incredible ride till now, and I can't really express my appreciation for additional years of life. Once again, I thank everyone for helping me win the most difficult race I have ever run. Organ donation saves lives. Enjoy every day, and help someone along the way. But where it all did start. I still remember. I had checkups yearly at first and then bi-yearly and I was perfectly healthy until a year before the operation. The itching became intolerable, so the hospital trialed a drug on me which meant an overnight stay. I was able to tolerate the drug and it cured the itching. Another year passed and in November 2017 I had a gastroscopy that revealed I had grade 4 varices that would need banding. I had the banding done in December but that evening had a variceal bleed. It was actually quite scary and I suddenly fainted. My mother was there when I got back my consciousness I grabbed her hand. After rebanding and a few pints of nice healthy blood, I was released from the hospital. Few months went by without any reoccurrences, but then I had two bleeds in quick succession. Again I was admitted and got discharged in few days. It wasn't until three years ago, spring 2018, that I started to feel really quite unwell. I slowly became more and more tired and lethargic. Then in March, that day I got a call from my brother that you have to come to endure for the transplant. He said it was time for a liver transplant. Although I had known for a long time that the day would come, it was still a massive shock to hear the word spoken out loud, and my wife was there sitting with me. My daughter came to know that we are going to endure, she asked me whether she can come along, though she showed that she only wants to have a holiday, but her eyes showed it all the concern, the pain. I calmly got the bag I had already packed, put a few bits in, and got into the ambulance. And so we are up to date as of the 13th of March 2018, I went for the night of tests to assess if I'm healthy enough to survive the operation and then I will have to make the hardest decision of my life. I'm not scared of the operation, but do I want to take a chance and carry on as I am or do I want to risk the operation and chances of rejecting the liver? I arrived at the operation theater at 2 pm and was immediately prepared for the operation. I was given a few tablets. The anesthetist started talking to me. He asked me a few questions. I requested him to play some music, and I don't remember much after that. I went into the operating theater at 3.30 p.m. and came out at 3.30 a.m. that morning. I don't remember much about the intensive care unit as I was full of pain-killing drugs. I can remember though that I wasn't in any pain and all the staff was incredibly caring and kind. When I awoke from that surgery, the first thing I wanted to do was walk. When the nurse came in my room and asked me to get out of bed and into a chair, I happily obliged and said I wanted to walk. Initially going to bathroom was like a marathon. But my recovery went well. I left the hospital after 15 days. Now three and a half years following my transplant I hope to continue thriving, not only for myself my family, but so that other transplant patients can hear stories of how a little bit of hope and a skilled transplant team can offer them a second chance at life.